good morning today let's study about rickety tissue diseases the first one is scrub typhus so it's an infectious disease which is transmitted to humans from field mice and rats through the bite of mites on animals scrub typhus is also known as tsutsugumushi disease it has been derived from two japanese words so it's a infectious disease which is transmitted to humans from the field mice when the field mice got uh, infected with the bite of mites and uh, again it this mice may spread the infection to the humans so it is the most common disease among rickettsia diseases in man and it was reported in J china japan india indonesia and malaysia during 1970 to 1980 and it broke in epidemic from in assam and bengal during the world war 2 okay so those two words which came from uh, japanese words are sutsuga that is meaning something small and dangerous and mushi means meaning creature that is a small dangerous creature the infection is called scrub typhus because it generally occurs after exposure to areas with secondary vegetation so after secondary vegetation when you get from uh, contact with that uh, agent you may get infected so let's study about the epidemiological triad now first one is about agent and the agent is rickettsia tsutsugumushi a tiny parasite about the size of bacteria that belongs to rickettsia family okay the tiny parasite which belonging to the rickettsia family will cause this uh, disease and this lives in mites that belongs to leptothrombidin akamushi and leptothrombidium delinese that is a, a mite uh, this agent will uh, live in this mite which is belonging to the following family that is leptothrombidium akamushi and leptothrombidium delinese and environment it is favorable uh, environment is a rainy season and mode of transmission is bite of an infected mite okay when a mite get uh, when bites the person or animal they will get infected and the incubation period is 10 to 12 days after initial bite and the clinical manifestation may include fever with chills that is around 104 to 105 degree fahrenheit uh, fever uh, there will be prostration headache malaise lymphadenopathy lymphadenopathy means enlargement of lymph node and uh, there will be macular rashes over the skin infection of mucous membrane lining eyes that is conjunctivitis sometimes a wound at site of chigger bite where it got bit there there will be wound and in the severe cases increased pulse rate decreased blood pressure loss of consciousness enlargement of spleen twitching of muscle and interstitial myocarditis will be there these are uh, the symptom which is present in the severe cases so now you how you can diagnose that's by detection of specific antibodies against scrub typhus in blood okay you can uh, detect the antibodies of the scrub typhus in your blood and the isolation of rickettsia from blood or other body tissues okay uh, you should avoid or uh, isolate this rickettsia you can uh, yeah you can isolate the rickettsia uh, agent from the blood or any other body tissues and there will be complete complement fixation test then about diagnosis and treatment the scrub typhus can be diagnosed on the basis of the patient's history physical examination laboratory test okay this is enough to diagnose but still you need the confirmatory test with the laboratory diagnosis scrub typhus cases should be treated with the antibiotics the drugs of choice are chloramphenicolone tetracycline these are the two major antibiotics which will be used for the treatment of this rickettsia disease and you should wear the protective clothing uh, to avoid the bite then use of insect repellent so that the by by uh, mites will not bite you uh, example of the repellents can be benzoyl benzoate diethyl tolimide can be used and uh, you should maintain the environmental sanitation so that there will be no growth of mites and it, there will be breakage of the cycle and the prophylactic treatment you can use chloramphenicol or tetracycline single dose every 5 days for uh, 35 days 
okay, with 5 day non treatment intervals to produce immunity to scrap diapers. Okay. In between the treatment of 35 days, you can give a 5 days of gap so that your immunity will be developed against the scrap diapers. So, uh, that is all about the scrub typhus, we will see in the next chapter, thank you.